There's another type of an exception, and this is called an incomplete octet. And that's um, some smaller atoms, uh, elements, um, atoms of elements um, that are smaller, at the beginning of the periodic table, can be stable with six, four, or just two electrons. And we've already looked at the one exception of hydrogen. Because it's in um, period one, it can only hold up to two electrons, and it only needs two electrons to be satisfied. That's why it's always terminal, and we, we um, build stable uh, molecules with just one bond um, on the hydrogens. It only needs two, okay? So when, it, when you're looking for needed, it only needs two. And then you have to remember boron. Um, boron only needs six. Okay, um, down here hydrogen needs two. Beryllium only needs four. And if you look at where they are on the periodic table, beryllium is small. It has two valence electrons. Boron is small. It has three valence electrons. Okay, and so those are just special cases. Um, and you can predict the bonding in this um, by doing the S equals N minus A rule. The available number of electrons here in this case is 24. The needed, this is where you have to be careful. Boron only needs six. There's one of them. So instead of putting eight here, you just put a six. Fluorine, there's three of them. It still needs eight. So the total number of needed here is going to be 30. And so when you do your bonding, 30 minus 24 equals six. So that's going to predict three bonds for this particular structure, which is the correct prediction when you use the correct number of needed. So you have to remember that boron only needs six. And so then you're going to come up with um, a structure like this. OK? So that's just an exceptional boron, beryllium, and hydrogen you just have to memorize. Six, four, and two. Beryllium, the same thing. You can go through the same, um, you know, try it on your own. You have the tools you need. Knowing that beryllium only needs four, then when you, make, when you do your needed accounting of electrons, then um, you're going to use here, instead of six like boron, you're going to use four. And you're going to recognize that you only need two bonds. And so beryllium makes a stable uh, molecule that looks like that. OK? So those are some exceptions, um, either expanded or incomplete octets that you um, should do.